Okay guys, how's it going? I finally made it home. Oi, um, I hope you guys are doing great. Hope this day was great. Uh, if you got to catch my PSA, uh, my public service announcement, I hope you guys realized there was a little jesting in there. I was trying to lighten the mood. Um, but those things that I said in there were legitimate. Um, be, be ready. Be cool. And use your head. Think before you do these things. And if, if the Holy Spirit doesn't convict you on certain things, stay away from it. I just did that as a generalized information. Okay, because with evening prayer, okay, first of all, uh, we got some issues with evening prayer, but first of all, uh, I haven't had a chance to check comments, check emails. I've been gone all day long because uh, I can't get to it on my phone hardly at all at my brother's house because his internet is worthless. Well, I tried, uh, uh, Lisa Boyce tried to call me today and, and couldn't even hardly get a phone call out. So, um, um, what was I going to say? Oh, the, the stock market took a hit today. It was a bad situation. But now it's worse because the stock market is being affected. This is going to cause issues. This is going to, from, from almost 50 years of being alive, this is going to cause issues. Um, things are okay now. They may smooth out, but you know, it's very possible we could wake up to a different world tomorrow. We don't know. That's like that for every day. But like this video right here, 24 hours, 70 rockets. Uh, if you watch this particular video, uh, you can look for it yourself. I'm not going to put it in there because it's, it's ridiculous. I'm showing you this because of certain comments, which are going to tie into our, our scripture reading and our prayer. But I haven't been able to get any prayer requests. So if you put in a prayer request, uh, I apologize. I have not had a chance to check anything. Um, but I have to film evening prayer because my wife's on the way home with the groceries and I got to help her unload the car. Anyway, I got a bunch of other stuff I got to do. So uh, we have a lot of things happening all at one time. There's been tons of stuff in the news, tons of things going on everywhere, every country, um, the current, the coronavirus and now the stock market in America. And so the one thing we don't want to do is we don't want to panic. And the scripture reading is going to be out of Isaiah. <clears throat> but um, it kind of pertains. We know Christ has overcome everything. So stuff like this, even we've got coronavirus, people infected with coronavirus in San Antonio, 40 minutes away from me. Many of them have direct family living here in my town. Uh, so yeah, it's here. Um, I'm not worried about it. Uh, you take a few small precautions and you trust in the Lord for everything. And he expects you to use your head. But you trust in him for everything. That's where the scripture reading is going to come in. But with all this happening, what we're going to see, and you'll see in some comments I'm going to show you, what we're going to see is we're going to see a turn in people. They're going to turn the other way. Everything's cool. Everybody's reserved. But when things even hint they're going to get bad, people lose control. You have to be aware of this and you have to be prepared for this. We pray up. We trust in the Lord. The Lord's going to deliver us from these things. He's going to protect us from these things. And you know, worst case scenario, you cross over and step right into the hands of the Lord. You know we have nothing to worry about as Christians. So I don't want anybody to panic or be afraid. There's nothing to worry about. We're good to go. Even standing in the lion's mouth, we're still good to go. And we know this. And our faith is in Him to deliver us from these things. Let's look at some of these comments. This is rockets coming from Gaza into Israel. But look at some of the comments. In 2014, during Israel's Operation Protective Edge, they killed over 2,000 Palestinians. And this doesn't make sense, with 70% of them being casualties. Well, if they killed 2,000 of them, all of them are casualties. You are the aggressors. They're talking about Israel. Well, Israel's defending their nation. Hello? Um, God's will, God wills it. Many thousands of rockets ravage the synagogue of Satan. This guy's against the Jews. Most of these people are. Well done, people of Gaza. I have nothing but love for you guys. Long live Palestine. Long live the resistance. What are they resisting from? They're trying to make them a nation, yet they're attacking. Um, Palestine lives matter. How many war crimes have Israel committed? Don't they have anything bigger? 
Let's see. You are propagandist. Gaza and Palestine is under attack. No, they're not. <laughs> Hamas is attacking out of Gaza. If they hit some Palestinians, it's because they're the ones attacking and hitting them. Uh, this is not what peaceful individuals do. May they all be safe and sheltered. Right on. Um, so, yeah, the what what the general consensus is, is that Israel's causing all the problems. But yet, when you watch what's going on, it's not Palestinians getting hit. Some are, because they're in those areas. It's the Jews. They're attacking the Jews. But see, that's how those organizations work. I have personal experience with them. They don't care if they kill their own people. They're totally okay with killing their own people. As long as they get the enemy first. That's the Islamic religion. That's, that's Islam. If you die while we're trying to get the enemy, you have a, you're going to get a martyr's death. They'll tell you any story to make you feel good about it. Um, that's why a lot of kids end up dying. So, bad situation. Very, very bad situation. But that's the... That's the mentality. That's the frame of mind. And it's not just over there. It's here too. It's everywhere. And, and not only are they against the Jews, they're against the Christians too. I was accused yesterday of uh, being a murderer and being in league with all the crimes uh, involving Christianity throughout the last couple hundred years. I was like, I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, you, I've watched your videos. You know, you know, I have no idea what you're talking about. No idea. All those things, the Spanish Inquisition. I was like, what was Christian about the Spanish Inquisition? Well, it was Christians that did it. I said, no, it wasn't. Christians don't do that. True born-again believers don't do that. Those men were Satanists. They were not Christians. Satan is their daddy, not Jesus. So, that wasn't... They did it under the guise of Christianity... But it absolutely was not. And everything that the Catholic Church has done over the couple, that's what, a couple hundred years? Uh oh, phone's about to die. You know, but they want to accuse everybody. Oh, it's your fault. Well, what are you doing to, to change the situation? What are you doing to help the problem? Nothing. They just want to complain. But that's what we have going on right now. So, Isaiah 26 came up. And it's called, uh, the, we're just going to read a little bit of it. It's the Song of Salvation. But I'm going to read through these scriptures and then we want to go into prayer. We got a great opportunity for some really, really good prayer right now. And I hope it blesses you guys. In that day, this song will be sung in the land of Judah. We have a strong city. God will appoint salvation for walls and bulwarks. Open the gates that the righteous nation which keeps the truth may enter in. You will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you, because he trusts in you. Let me read the verse 3 again. You will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for in Yah the Lord is everlasting strength. For he brings down those who dwell on high, the lofty city, he lays it low. He lays it low to the ground, he brings it down to the dust. The foot shall tread it down, the feet of the poor and the steps of the needy. The way of the just is uprightness, O oh, most upright. You weigh the path of the just. Yes, in the way of your judgments, O Lord, we have waited for you. The desire of our soul is for your name and for the remembrance of you. With my soul, I'm getting all kinds of notifications. With my soul, I have desired you in the night. Yes, by my spirit within me, I will seek you early. For when your judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. I could keep going, but it's pretty long. So, I wanted to stop there. So, we who trust in Him, we who have faith in Him, we who stay focused on Him, have nothing to fear. No matter what happens now, no matter what opens up to us, we, if we wake up tomorrow morning and the entire world is completely different, everything is in chaos and turmoil, what do we do? Lord, thank you for giving me strength to make it to this point. Please give me more strength to carry on and to lead as many to salvation in you as I possibly can before my life is extinguished or before you come and rescue us. You stay faithful and you stay strong because we know what's on the other side. There should be no fear of death. Hey, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and kill you and take all your stuff. Okay. Might want to reconsider, but okay. Lord, don't lay this on their charge. That's just quicker to get there. 
somebody had said a couple days ago about going over uh, to Wuhan and helping and all that. I was like, I'm down. What about the coronavirus? I don't care. It's in right here in my town. Why would I have a problem with going to a place where it's at already anyway? It's already here. More of those people that came off that cruise ship that were in quarantine that were supposed to be clear. Yeah, more of them popped up. They're here in San Antonio. More of them popped up uh, uh, infected. They're, they now said that it's not 14 days. It's definitely 28 to 30 days possible gestation. Because people that had 14 days and were clear, they let them go home. A week later, they popped up and they were infected. So now they don't know. That's kind of why I did the PSA. Uh, I didn't want anybody to freak out and go, what do I do? Well, there's information you can use. It's minimal information, but it can cushion the blow if anything happens to change. And you never know. Things may flip the other direction tomorrow, next week. Who knows? With what we're seeing now, we may not even be here in a month. Um, far too much is happening. I've got even more information. I won't, won't have time to share it tonight. I'll share it tomorrow. And uh, it's amazing. Uh, the whole thing with movies and songs and all these different hints. Yeah, I found a couple of real good ones. Um, but um, yeah, let's stay focused and not be fearful. It's really easy to get caught up in fear. But if you have a Lord, there's nothing to fear. Let's go into some prayer. Lord Jesus, we come before you this evening in boldness and in faith and in strength confident of your ability to wash us from our sin, to make us righteous, to cleanse us, to lift us up, to strengthen us, to, to hold us up, to stand against the world and what's going on right now. We see the handwriting on the wall. We see the famines and the pestilences already starting. We see the Gog Magog war. We see the governments changing. We see the movement of the Antichrist in the world today, even though he's not exposed yet. We see the changes. We see everything happening. And it's in super fast mode. But we don't fear. Because in you, since you've already conquered, we're good. We're covered. We're protected. We're sealed and about to be delivered for that day of redemption. And Lord, we pray that that day comes quickly. I mean, we <laughs> look at what's happening. But until that time comes, Lord, embolden us and strengthen us and give us the words to share the gospel to everybody we can, even each other. Not everybody's strong. That's not a bad thing. It's normal to, be, to feel scared. It's normal to be weak. It's normal. We're human. Lord, help us who are strong to help those who are weak. Help us who are confident to help those who aren't confident. Help us with the right words at the right time to strengthen and uplift all the brothers and sisters. To reach those who still need salvation. For all my brothers and sisters, I, I, I did, wasn't able to get names, I'm sorry. But for all my brothers and sisters, Lord, that need healing, give them healing, Lord. According to your will. All those that are having financial issues, fix their financial issues, Lord, according to your will. All those that have struggles, have trials, have tribulations, have issues. Give them peace. Give them answers to their prayers. Give them a testimony to share with everyone that you may be glorified, that our Father may be glorified, and that somebody gets saved or at least gets a seed planted in them somewhere. We know that time is up. We can see it. It's still astonishing to me to see this in my life and to see the things that I'm seeing now. And I, I almost still can't believe it, yet I can believe it. Yet you've instilled such a sense of peace in me personally. And others I've talked to have said the same thing. Such a, 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 a sense of peace. A sense of settlement. We're settled in that we know what's, what this is. And I'm okay with it. If there's help where we can help, show us where it is. If there's something that needs to be done, a, a need that needs filling, a gap that needs bridged, Show us what it is, Lord, and help us to do that. That we may uh, be a light to everyone possible. A lot of people are going to start freaking out. A lot of people are going to lose it if things get worse than this, especially in this country. We pray for the safety of those who aren't saved. We pray for the salvation of those who aren't saved. 
We pray for the deliverance of Israel. We pray for our brothers and sisters who are struggling, that you end their struggle and lift them up, stand them up on their feet, give them strength, give them confidence, give them boldness, and give them a testimony to share with everyone they can. In this last little stretch of what time we have left, with everything we're seeing, that we look like we see, there's no time left, help us to be a, a driving force force for righteousness and for goodness and for salvation for the gospel in this world in the last little bit of time we have left it's all for your glory and it's all in your name nothing i do is for me it's for you i get nothing out of this the other grace preachers this is for you they do this for you we're trying to help people understand what the truth is because we've been lied to for so long. But you woke us up and gave us a testimony, gave us something to do for the kingdom to help people come to that truth of that free gift of salvation. Walking in faith and turning away from the false doctrines that have been taught for hundreds of years. In these last hours, you've called up the watchmen. I pray blessings on all the watchmen all the soul winners, all the grace preachers, anyone who's contending, I pray blessings and peace and confidence and protection for all of them. They are my brothers and sisters. They're, they're out there contending like I am. Lord, whatever you think we need, be it, be it gifts or whatever it is, be it abilities, whatever it is, be it words, whatever it is, your will is perfect. Whatever you think we need, give that to us so that we may glorify the kingdom, so that we may glorify the name of our God, and we may glorify you, our Savior, in this world in front of all people. Take away our fear. Take away our doubt. Take away our questions. And just give us confidence. Confidence and understanding. Because we know from those things, peace comes. Lord Jesus, it is in your amazing, mighty name we pray and send blessings out to everyone. Amen. Thank you guys for joining me for evening prayer. I'm a little, little different this time, but that's what I was felt pushed to do since I didn't get it, wasn't able to get any names yet. Um, guys, with I've been, I've been in and out of communications with different people throughout the day. So much has unfolded today. So much is going on today. I see people turning. I already see the, the shift in the face. I already see the, the change coming over people. You're going to see good and bad, nothing in between. And I see it happening already. Be cool. Be on guard. Be watchful. Be ready. And above everything else, have faith and trust in Christ for your salvation, for your redemption, and for your protection. If you can do that, you'll have all the peace. You'll have the peace that defies all understanding. I'm there. I'm just not... I see all this going on. And I'm not nervous about it. I'm just relaxed. I, I've never had this sense of peace before. I actually got to witness to a four-year-old today about Jesus Christ. And he wanted to know more. It was the coolest thing. I don't know what else to say, guys. You know, when I pray, I almost don't even know what to pray until the Holy Spirit gives it to me. Because I was going down the road praying and then the Holy Spirit wasn't behind it. And I just didn't have words. And I told Jesus, Lord, I don't know what to, I don't even know what to pray for anymore. Unless the Holy Spirit gives me the words, I don't know what to say. It's all been said. Time's up. It is finished. We're going home. Now, don't everybody freak out when we get up there and like, you know, like I might, might be missing this luxurious beard. I don't know. Don't everybody freak out if we look different when we get up there. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. So let's finish the race strong. Settle those things that you, those questions and those doubts you have. If you, if you need something answered, ask somebody. you got plenty of people to reach out to. 
by email or by comment. I recommend email because comments are getting weird on YouTube for some reason. Talk to each other. Preach the gospel to each other. Just like David Benjamin teaches, it works. And look for that peace that defies all understanding. Deepen that relationship between you and Christ. Talk to him. Tell him what's bothering you. He will take, it, take those things away. He will ease your issues and ease your suffering. I love all of you guys. I'm so glad that I have been able to fellowship with such incredible Christians from every walk of life, from every way of thinking, from every part of the world here on YouTube. I forgot when my wife was getting off work. <laughs> here on YouTube. And and the thing is, is that we're all different and we're all from different walks of life and different understandings and different ways of living and all that. Yet in Christ, we all get along. We're all connected by the Spirit. It's like, like the first time I talked to Lisa Boyce, it was like we'd known each other for ages. I've never met her. We, we talk like we know each other. Um, I'm about to go dig through my emails and find because um, Sister Trish sent me her number. I talked to Le uh, Sissy Briley too. But Sister Trish sent me her number and uh, Mike Wackadoodle Samoan sent me his. I hadn't had a chance to contact him. I'm going to hit them up and see what's going on there. Um, I mean, how amazing to have the ability to do what we're doing. My church that I was going to, I've been having some issues so I haven't been able to go. At its best, had almost 50 people in it. Now, I, the last I heard is only like 10 or 12. And I have almost 1,200 people here on this online church. Some people have 100,000 people in their online church. How amazing. Um, I watch Jan Markell a lot. Um, actually, she was one of the first people I ran into online on videos that helped me understand what was going on. Because in December, when I was awakened, I didn't know what was going on. I was completely out in the dark. I didn't know what was going on. Her video, The Remnant Believer, showed up. Sorry, guys. There we go. Fix that. <laughs> um, her video, The Remnant Believer, I was watching this video. It was just over an hour long, and I was in tears because it explained what was happening. It told me what was going on and from there everything changed and my ministry took off <coughs> oh I got the coronavirus sorry <clears throat> anyway all that being said I don't want to rant I already ranted earlier trust in him have faith in him and let's see where this goes because I don't know about y'all but I'm excited to see where we end up in the next couple of weeks. Because in 2019, how many times did we think it was going to happen? But look, we're still in February of 2020, and look what's happened already. Guys, I love y'all. I bless you all in Jesus' name. I will see you guys in the next video.